Guys, in today's video, we're gonna make a canned salmon salad. It's super easy. It's gonna give you so many options, like you can stuff a pita with it. I'm gonna show you how I use it inside of a wrap, but why I love it is because canned salmon is inexpensive and it's a great source of protein and I honestly just love it because there is some cumin in there. It's so good, let's make this. In this bowl, I'm going to mix two cans of boneless, skinless salmon. One reason some people complain about uh, canned salmon is that they are buying the canned salmon that has all the bones and skin still on. So make sure you look for boneless, skinless. That's also a good hint. It is less fishy tasting than tuna, but yet it has a lot of nutritional benefits. So I really enjoy making using canned salmon. To my canned salmon, I'm going to add some mayo. I'm going to add some lemon juice, and I'm first going to mix it up a little and then add the rest of the ingredients. Now what's awesome about making this canned salmon salad is that you can make it ahead of time. You can meal prep. It's easy, it'll last a couple of days in the fridge so you can use it as is to top a green salad or in wraps and sandwiches. Meal prepping is definitely a great way to eat well and saves time. And I even have an entire video for you on how to meal prep your lunches so you can have healthy lunches ready to go. I'm gonna make sure to link that right below this video, as well as my meal prep ebook. So if you are wanna eat healthy and you wanna prep meals ahead of time, or maybe make yourself one meal and then divide that into individual containers, everything you need to know is in that meal prep ebook for you. Now that our canned salmon pieces are basically broken down into smaller pieces like that, I'm going to add my cumin. And for a little extra crunch, I diced up some celery. So I finally chopped that, and I'm gonna add it in my canned salmon. Now, tell me in the comments below if you are a canned tuna, canned salmon per person, and what do you like to add to your tuna salads and salmon salads? Because a lot of people add celery, even diced apples work really well, especially the green tart apples go great in this type of salad. All right, so let me give you a close-up of what this looks like right here. Now you can refrigerate this wrapped in plastic wrap, or you could simply make it transfer it or make it inside a lidded container and like this sealed. It will last in the fridge about four days, so you can then use it to make lunches. Let's make this wrap and pack it for lunch. So I saved a little bit of mayo from the salad to um, spread right over my wrap, just like this. And then I'm going to place some of the salmon salad right in the middle. Then I'm gonna take some salad greens and place them right over the salmon. These are, this is some arugula, but you can use spinach or field greens. And to make a wrap, I'm simply going to tuck both of the ends right here, just like a burrito, so it holds all of our filling in. Fold it over and then slide it back and give it a good wrap, just like this. So I'm simply gonna take a knife and slice my canned salmon wrap in half. And as you can see, it's perfect for lunch. We can then pack it in a lunch box with some veggies, some fruit, and if you are wondering if you could use some fresh salmon to make these wraps or your salmon salad, the answer is yes, you just have to use cooked fresh salmon. Sometimes I make this salmon salad with leftover salmon for dinner. If I make a few pieces and I have extra, I'll just save the cold salmon um, in the fridge and make this salmon salad. Now, if you love this kind of meal prep lunches, I'll leave some ideas right below this video as well as the link to the uh, meal prep ebook, a 101 lunches ebook, and the ingredients and measurements to the salmon salad. And while you're down there, make sure you click that red subscribe button so you and I get to hang together a few times a week. See you next time.